Hi, I'm Abby and this is my channel and today we're starting a new series of videos that I'm going to do um, throughout the month of October and this is the first one and basically it has to do with my bookshelves. I've had my bookshelves sorted as they are now for a while but I've been wanting to kind of change it up and I figured why not take this time to do different setups and see which one I like best and I'm creating a series out of it. So today I'm going to be reorganizing all my books, which is quite a task. Um, I do have to go grab some from like my room that are just on my nightstands uh, cause I want to add them in or have a space for them. Um, I also need to move my chairs um, that I have here. I'm sitting on a little table that I usually film in, uh, but I have to move them out of the way so I can use the floor. But today I'm gonna be sorting my books by color. And I have five different kind of ways to sort my books that I'm gonna do out throughout the month. We're starting with color first because I've been wanting to do it for a while just to see it. I don't think I would actually keep my books this way. And I'm gonna keep, um, I'm gonna keep this setup that I do in each video for a week before I change it again. I don't go to my bookshelves every day, but I go to them pretty often throughout the week, especially right now while I'm going through books pretty quickly. So I thought it'd be a good time while I'm still on like a very big reading kick that I have to go to my shelves a lot and then um, see how I kind of like them. And I might, change the way I have them set up. Right now I sort of have them set up alphabetically. I'll probably re do it again sometime throughout this week just as one of my setups. But today we're doing color. Uh, we're gonna do in rainbow order. Um, but first I have to like take off, besides moving my chairs and stuff, I have to take off all the books because that seems the simplest. And then I'm gonna sort them into their colors and then put them back on. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, like, like I said, I've always wondered what it will look like, but I've never done it because I know it probably isn't gonna be my permanent setup just because I don't think I'll be able to find things as well as I want to, but I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm really excited for the series and start executing it. Let's kind of get started, I guess. First, we gotta move these chairs and uh, Get them out of the way. <laughs> and next I'm gonna take off like the spare things that I have on my shelves because I have like pictures and little ceramics and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take those out um, so I can start taking books down. start taking books off I am gonna say that I'm gonna keep some shelves the same because they're kind of like separate books um, basically these top shelves here um, are like special books they're my yearbooks and stuff and then like two bottom shelves over here um, I'm gonna keep those the same but all the rest are gonna come off uh, but those shelves I'm keeping are just kind of like special shelves where they're books that are too tall to stand um, maybe I'll take them down, but for right now, I'm thinking I'm going to keep them. Uh, we'll see once we get all the books off. I just gotta go grab these two and like 
like one more from my nightstand and then we can start separating into colors I guess <laughs> uh, I still am keeping the shelves that I said I was gonna keep the books on on there but now we gotta do the task of picking what color category each is going in Now that they're nice and clean, I usually do clean them, but you know, I don't take the books off and clean them when I regularly clean my apartment, but it's nice to have them so clean now. And now it's time for the sorting. <laughs> All right, so I got a lot of work ahead of me, um, but I'm gonna try to go off the spine cover um, of the book, because sometimes they are different. But hopefully I get enough room behind me to start sorting into the color piles. I'm going to sort similar colors like reds and pinks together and then yellows and golds. I feel like there's going to be a lot of black. I'm going to make a separate pile for like white ones that have a lot of color within them and kind of figure out if I want to put those in the color piles or the white pile. And also I'm going to make a small pile of like things I don't know where they go exactly because like this book, it's multicolored even on the spine. So I'm gonna put this in like a special pile and decide where I wanna put it later. And also, I'll show you guys later, but I condensed those two shelves I kept on there into one. So now I have an extra shelf to put all my books on if I wanna separate them a little more. But let's get started. you're wondering I do have book sets like this I am taking them out and separating them by color so they're not gonna be together but I gotta find a place to put these boxes until I put them back in the boxes because <laughs> like I said this probably won't be my final thing so but right now I'm taking them out of the boxes separating them by color So we have them all sorted. Um, if you're wondering, yes, I did have piles collapse on me while I was making them. Um, but we got them all sorted. I might combine a few more piles. So we have like purples here, greens. These are piles that started coming together. They're orange and yellow and there's like gold in there too. Um, those are all white, some silver. This is all black. This is all blue right here there's a lot more blue than I was expecting 
Um, then I have pink and reds, and here I have more gold and browns, and those might get combined with the yellows and oranges when I put them on the shelf. I'm thinking so, because I don't know if I would want a brown tan section. I might just group them with the orange and yellows. But yeah, we got them all sorted. I'm a little exhausted, but now we just got to put them on the shelves. I'm thinking I'm going to start and go like red, orange, yellow and go across instead of down. Because when I had it alphabetical, I went A, B, C, D, etc. Um, but I'm just going to do, you know, rainbow across, I think. Yeah, and then, you know, whatever color, then blue. And then I think I might do black and then white. Or I might start with white and then do red. Like white, red, orange, and then black at the end. You can see here I combine those two shelves into one, like I said earlier. But yeah, now just to start putting the books on the shelves. I'm really exhausted. That took a lot of work too. A lot of heavy books, a lot of leaning over. But now, just to put them on the shelf. I might do a quick off camera, like separate them into like light and darks and pinks. You know, if I'm doing red first, separate the pinks out kind of start putting them in order of like lightest to darkest off camera but yeah next you'll see is me putting them on the shelf so it's been a little bit of time since my last clip but I've gotten all the books or almost all the books sorted into basically the order I want to put them in um, I just have to load them on the shelves there's just one color the brown tannish gold pile that I haven't like ordered in the way I want it, but the rest are done and I'll show you them real quick. So we got like purples. Um, I kind of stacked them all up, but they're sort of in order. And then we got greens. I did kind of like lightest to darkest. And then I have oranges and yellows. Some of these are really difficult. Like I wanted to put in other piles, um, especially the white. I got all them sorted, all the blacks. There were so many blues, so many piles of blues. I think blue's the best, or the most used color that isn't black or white. And then I have all the reds and the pinks, and then just the last pile, which is the brown, which I haven't sorted yet, but I will do those as I put them on the shelf, I think. I was debating whether to put some of these golds and stuff into the yellow piles. I also have some like tans and stuff in the white pile that I was debating to put either in the browns or with the yellows. But yeah, I just gotta put them up here. Again, I think I'm gonna start with the red and go that way, and then head to the the orange and the yellow. And then go from there. All right, so now I'm gonna start putting them on the shelves. I'll probably move some around as I get them all up and see how they look up there. But hopefully this goes a lot quicker than the rest. I think I've learned next time, don't take all the books down and then sort of sort them as you take them down. Might take off like an hour of work. Uh, but I did take a break after I finished sorting them into the colors now. But time to put them on the shelves.
fun. All right, there we have it. We got reds, pinks, corals, orange, yellows, to greens, blues, darker blues, purples, brown, tans, brown. We went brown and white uh, to silver to black. And then yeah, all my blacks. And I still have like three, almost four shells empty, but that's because I didn't really give room on the ends of the shelves like I usually have. Um, I'm only keeping this for a week, so I like the look of it better, fully stacked. Um, but yeah, I really like the look. Of course, it's very, very pretty, the rainbow, but only gonna keep it for this week for the video. At the end of the week, I'm going to, I guess, review how I like it or not. All right, so it's been one week since I changed my shelves to the color coordinating books. And I gotta say, I liked it a lot more than I thought it would. Not only does it look fantastic, but I could find the books a lot easier than I thought I would be able to. Um, you know, weeks not maybe enough time, but I think it was a good judge of whether I wanted to keep it or not. I would still say I don't like that series are kind of broken up. And every once in a while I do have to search and try to remember what color a certain book is. But I really do like it. It might be a contender for when I choose what to keep my books at. But this week wasn't as, I guess, bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so color is more of a contender than I thought it would be as my final setup. It does look fantastic. But I wanted to give my opinion before I start with the next setup which you guys will see in the next video. And I think I learned my lesson last week when I changed the books to when I take them down, sort them, not take them down, sort them, and then sort them. Uh, so next video will take a little less time, hopefully. But I can't wait to try out the next setup. But like this video, if you have your books in color order, I know a lot of people do like it and they don't mind things being out of order or having the spaces in between colors um, to let room to grow in your library. I did like parts because um, when the bookshelves kind of divide it, I was able to hide some of the ones I didn't like in their positions as much behind this little ledge. So it worked out. But yeah, this is how I'm going to keep it for the next week. Comment down below what you think the next formation I'm gonna put it in is, or if you think this color formation is really great. Can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this series. It's gonna be kind of a busy month of rearranging my books every week. I almost delayed the second half of this video for tomorrow, but I didn't want to, so I did tonight. It's a little later at night now, but I got it done. I'm kind of exhausted. Now that I know to separate as I take them off, instead of taking them all off, separating, and then putting them back on. That took a lot. It was, it was a lot today in this video that you probably didn't see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to follow along in the series, or if you like this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, if you want to be someone, why not be you? Bye guys.